A lot has changed in Scottish politics in the last few months. The all-conquering SNP now seem a bit more vulnerable. Nobody is quite sure what it will mean for the party's future. As we've just heard, even the deputy leader at Westminster is finding things out in the news. But this isn't just an issue for Scotland. In Westminster, there's talk in the tea rooms about what this all means for a general election. And in particular, Labour's chances of winning power. There's only one man to ask about what the polling tells us. This is John Curtis, who's Professor of Politics at the University of Strathclyde and Senior Research Fellow at the National Centre for Social Research and UK in a Changing Europe. The truth is that during the SNP leadership contest, that SNP lead over Labour has essentially halved. SNP support's gone down, Labour support has edged up a bit further. And so therefore, in the wake of that, what previously might perhaps be, have been no more than maybe half a dozen uh, seats Labour picking up off the SNP now looks like, like a much bigger number. Because of that, Labour's leadership senses an opportunity. One man who's got used to the train journey north is Keir Starmer. Whatever people may or may not have thought of Nicola Sturgeon, she was a formidable politician. And when she stepped down, that changed the landscape in Scotland quite considerably. And you I think th it's good news for the Labour Party? I, I think it, it provides an opportunity for the Labour Party. Some in the Labour Party think all the pieces are now falling into place. Senior figures close to the leadership will happily discuss the prospect of winning 20 seats at the next general election. That's remarkable when you think Labour only has one MP at the moment. The leader himself is a lot more cautious in public, but believes that Labour needs to win a number of Scottish seats to be a legitimate UK government. 